Hello gang, um, in my last video on uh, how I planned the layout um, I was explaining to you a way of using up a lot of empty space in the middle of your layout by using a reversed point uh, like this one here okay now although I did say in that video that in theory you can't do this uh, but in practice you can but you need to add a wire to be able to do this I did explain it all quite thoroughly but I do realize that something I said about this which was referring to the two rails off the backward end of the point there I did say in the video that these two rails of course are now live um, and it, the way I put it over it led people to believe that they are permanently live because I was asking again questions asked me about how do I stop the local in the side running if these two tracks are live well I'm going to redo this little bit here it's only going to be a short video I'm just going to explain it a little bit better right let's start again right now as you see the point is in there backwards and the current for the two tracks and it's in that position like that to the turntable the current would be up both the tracks like so and to the turntable and that will work perfectly normal obviously right when the point is switched that way if you look here again this track here is still alive and it goes up there and of course now the point is switched to there that puts this bottom rail live that one is actually alive there but the top rail there is now not live at all so what you do you connect a piece of wire from the top rail of the input to the point to the top rail of the output of the point there now if you look at that now logically we've got this track here which is live down to there and then we've got this track which stops there but because we've put the wire between there and there so that's the top rail to the top rail there that is now live and our and obviously with that point in that position the loco is going to run but this is the bit I didn't make very clear in the other video when you switch that back yes we've still got the wire from there to there which doesn't matter because that's doing exactly the same thing there that is already touching there so basically what we've done we've just left that wire there but because we've switched the point back to the straight position this bit of track here is now dead so I did sort of misstate this a little bit in that last video it basically means that no the loco won't run when the point is in that straight position now I pointed out to you in the other video that the solder joint is there but there is a solder joint there and I'm going to tell you something else about these as well but first of all the main important issue is the solder joint I was referring to is that one there of that top rail and it goes round and it's soldered there on the back of that rail so that's the only thing you need to do between there and there right now coming to this bit of solder down here which was probably what made it a little bit confusing is something that I do with the old super four points and I'll show you here on a brand new one right when you look at the point and you look at how it works underneath there you might just see it just underneath there can you see that's a little spring clip there and there's also one one under that piece of track as well and what they do they come round to here look there's the two spring clips and obviously you've got the insulator between them there but that carries the current that one across to there and that one across to there now these are only hooked under there they're not fixed tight they're only hooked they are also only hooked around the piece of track there so you're, you're reliant on that touching the piece of track you reliant on it being hooked under there and touching and if we turn it over you'll then see it's that's the other side there where the rivet is so you're reliant on that also connecting then when you come down here to the bottom of the point you realign on that connecting as well that little spring bit there so now we've got one two back over three four pieces that are only clipped on or touching and you realign on all of those 
to the point to work and to be honest with you when super four points get old and they get corroded and dusty and dirty they can be a right pain so what I do with them I solder a piece of wire from that rail there and that rail there and I bring them and I solder them directly onto there and onto there and now if you do do this you've got to be very very quick with the soldering iron there otherwise you will melt the plastic and damage the point so that's the reason why there are those other soldered joints down there so I'm sorry if that confused anybody but as I say the most important one you need to do a reverse point is that top rail to that top rail that's all you need to do and then the point will work in both ways and the siding won't become live until you switch the point to it so hope that made everything a little bit clearer okay guys thanks for watching see you all bye